What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this sick transition within Premiere Pro. So as you can see we just have some footage here from the Nookie music video. And first of all, we're gonna create an adjustment layer. So we're gonna do that by new item, adjustment layer. Make sure it matches your timeline. And then drag on the adjustment layer. Now we're gonna come over to effects. I'm gonna type in transform. I'm gonna drag that over this adjustment layer like so. Then we're gonna scroll in between these two clips. So where these two clips cut, we're gonna scroll our cursor in the middle and then come over to effects controls and then scroll down. So we're gonna hit the keyframes on the following and then we're gonna increase the scale and the rotation and then we're gonna hit this as well. So we're gonna increase this, rotate it around and do this one as well, keep going. And we're gonna come back a little bit before and we're gonna reset all these and then come to the end and then reset them. And now we're gonna just zoom in on our keyframes and we're gonna correct where this goes. So we're gonna have to zoom in a lot more here. So there we should have like a spinning effect. So there we go. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to effects and type in brightness and contrast and drag that on. And then come over to effects and then in the middle of the cut again, brightness and contrast, I'm gonna increase the brightness and decrease some of the contrast, and then come to the middle, reset them again, and then come near the end and then reset. So we should have Tinsy Flash. I'm then gonna duplicate that. So now we should have a white screen. And now we're gonna go over to effects again, and we're gonna type in blur. We're gonna type in directional blur, and then we're gonna just hide these a second and then it's the direction across so it gives us kind of a motion blur come to the start of the keyframes same here you can bring the blur up to the top so now we should have a transition that's something like this which looks really cool that blur really helps out so now we can add some flicker in effect so if we just add in another Brightness and contrast, and we drag that on, and then towards the end of our clip, so around about here, to create some keyframes, and then come a couple of frames over, and then reset them, and then a couple of frames over again, and then reset them. And I'm going to drag these keyframes, hold Option, just drag them over, select them all again, drag them over like so. So now we should have like a flash, and then where this clip comes in. We're gonna then create another transition. So we're gonna go over to our adjustment layer again, drag another one, we're gonna cut our adjustment layer there. And again, we're gonna type in transform, drag that on, and then come over to effects controls, hit the keyframe on the following, drag that out a bit more. And then we're gonna increase the size and the rotation like so. Scroll back a little bit and reset these keyframes and then reset them again and then come over to effects and type in blur and make sure we're using that directional blur grab that one we can hide this a second and then we can increase the blur and change the direction so over to that there and then where the keyframes start and where they end the blur on which is nice and then we're just going to finish off with a brightness and contrast drag that one on come over to brightness and contrast make some keyframes in the middle scroll over again reset and then scroll to the end and reset so guys now i'm going to show you how to create this effect with some of the packs on my website and it's going to take you half the amount of time 
So let's get straight into it. So I'm just going to copy these over like so, and I'm just going to drag an adjustment layer on. And now I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to type in music video essential pack. And then here I'm going to go with this speed flash one. And I'm going to drag that on and come over to effects. And I'm going to line these effects up with our first cut like so. So I'm just line it up. So there we go. And then let's make this a bit smaller. So there we should have our instant effect. If we don't want it to be that white, we can turn off this brightness and contrast layers. Just turn that off. So there we've got our spinning effect. Super easy, we didn't have to do anything. And now we're gonna grab another adjustment layer and we're gonna type in flash. And then we're gonna have a look at these multi-flashes. So let's drag one on, take a look. So we know our flash is we want to start around about here. So we've just got some flashes on. So now we just want to create a transition from here. So again, now we're going to come over to adjustment layer, drag that on, come to effects. And we're going to type in music video essential pack, click on speed flash two, come over to effects controls, and then we're going to line this up like we did with the other ones. So there we go, that's all lined up nicely. And then here with this cut, we're just going to add another adjustment layer on top. And then we're going to type in flash. And let's go with a fast movement flash for this one. And then we're going to line it up. So guys, that was how to create that transition within Premiere Pro. I hope you really do like this effect. I love using these type of effects within my music videos. It has a load of momentum and just good energy to your music videos. If you do want to head over to my website and pick up some of these presets, you can simply drag and drop. You don't have to spend any time making these effects yourself. You can just simply drag and drop them onto your footage and get this effect straight away. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one, guys.